Tour Divide Day 2. Um, yesterday on Day 1 started with a whole bunch of rain and then which turned to snow and slush for the remainder of the day. It was very cold. Um, made it about 120 miles to Elk Ford and <clears throat> saw a lot of elk and almost went to almost went down on some ice into a tree. But today, I rode over to Sparwood to get some, uh, or actually last night, when we were eating pizza, ran into a gentleman that owned a gym right next door to the pizza joint, and he offered us that we could uh, stay, in his, stay in his physical therapy room. So we got a, a warm, dry place to sleep last night. It was wet all day. Most things were dry-ish in the morning or damp, and then started with more water. And so far today, it's rained for a while, and then uh, the road was washed out by a creek and crossed the creek back and forth, I don't know, 20, 30 times at least. Pretty, uh, pretty deep in spots, over hub, of glacial melt, and now just riding on a muddy dirt road now that the sun shines out. So that's where we're at. Well, I just saw my first bear. Um, just about right uh, where that tall tree is. He was off to the right. Can tell if he was a cub or just a juvenile. So I think I may wait here a little bit and then press on. After two and a half long, cold, and hard days, made it to uh, the border right now. So just waiting in line to get back to America. With the, the cold and rain yesterday, ended up doing a, another short day, freezing in a cafe for a little while, and uh, met family that offered me a night at their, their lake house uh, along the Flathead Lake, which was pretty nice. Warm and, warm and dry, and got a nice bowl of warm chicken soup, some baked oatmeal in the morning, some cinnamon rolls, eggs. So it's good, good night, and uh, starting here at about eight eight thirty, and Achilles and New Year feeling okay, not uh, not great, but not terrible. So that's a that's a good sign. And when I hit the trail, saw two of the people up in front of me. So there's still people around, not too far behind. But, Get to cruising and hopefully make it to a Vando tonight and stay in a, a teepee or a jail cell or a wagon or something cool like that. So here's to another good day.
yesterday was able to get back on track as far as mileage and time. I uh, did about 125 and 15, 16 hours, something like that. Got in at 1230 last night to Ovando and slept outside the jail and had a, a nice breakfast in the morning and had kind of a late start. The uh, top of Richardson Peak was a few miles of walking through snow uh, on the up and down side of it for a little over an hour or hour and a half. That was pretty draining. Um, the first day that I'm able to ride in short sleeves and shorts. So hopefully making it to Helena or Basin tonight. <clears throat> See how it goes with this late start and how long I want to keep riding for. Yesterday, uh, leaving Evando, someone left their, their gloves behind, so I took them with me, and uh, then I found a, a phone just before the, the big climb over to Lincoln, and I found both people, both owners, in the, the first little convenience store I stopped down the other side of the mountain, so that was pretty neat. Uh, there was a horse that wasn't too friendly. divide pass to Helena. It started raining. Just a light drizzle, but enough to get a chill on the long downhill, well, slight down grade to the city. So, hopefully hit Fleecer Ridge today. All right, good morning. This is Nick. Nick, tell us about your ride down this, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's more, it's a Fleecer Ridge. Um, I just kind of got on at the top and rode on down and stayed on the bike the whole way. Got a, a few sketchy moments with some rocks, but just Bring hung on. on coffee, and... man. <laughs> this is... I believe you guys owe me a dollar. I do owe you a dollar, actually. <laughs> Damn! I owe him a dollar. This is actually the, the what one section of what we're looking at of the whole damn thing. So I got to get my money out and give Nick a dollar because I don't have any. Well, you got 50, 60, 65, 66 cents so Bingo. far. Bingo. And I'll get you the rest when I have <laughs> cash. Well, it's been a, a few miles walking through some of the craziest mud I've ever been through that just clogged up everything, made it to where you couldn't couldn't roll at all, and ended up uh, having to take everything apart as much as uh, as much as I really wanted to, and and could actually help to get things clean and clean everything in this nice little farm drainage. So. Pretty gross, plenty of bugs around, and it's not really that clean.
Right now I'm riding uh, 20 miles of the softest, bumpiest, straightest rail trail I've ever made. And uh, feels like a Euro cross race just jumping one side to the other side and trying to find a line somewhere and nothing's any better than anywhere else but you still just gotta try it out. Left side, right side. Front wheel turn left but sliding right and bounce around but it's a good time here. At least it's slightly downhill. Almost to the flag ranch in Wyoming. I saw the old bear run out in the uh, all the road right in front of me. You get a picture ran up in into the trees, but the old red bear. Well, it's day twelve and just rode 170 something miles. Um, found a spot on the side of the road in some bushes with some soft grass, so call that home for the night. Um, I don't know how many hours I rode, but it's about 1 130, 140 now. And that's all. Saw, saw two, two grizzlies today and two mountain passes. So. That's all for now. I believe it's day 16 now. Uh, much happier to be back in Colorado where there's trees, a little, a little less wind. Wyoming, there's zero trees and wind all day, all night. Had an awesome night in Steamboat with all my friends with moots. Had a, a pretty sweet dinner. Got to stay inside, let some things dry out, get clean. And now on my way to Frisco and get to see Miss Kayla and uh, have another night inside. So pretty stoked on that and get to enjoy the beautiful scenery for the rest of the day. That's day 16 right now. Had a awesome night, it was great getting to see Kayla and hang out, have some good food, visit with our, our friend Mary Topping for a bit. Went over to Breckenridge this morning for a nice big breakfast and met up with my Alpha Bicycle Company homies. We rode up to the top of Boreas Pass together and then they turned around. Going to uh, help a 
a Belgian friend I met a few days ago and was riding with for a little while that cracked his frame. Uh, they brought him a brand new Salsa El Mariachi frame and uh, a few parts to go along with it. The brand new Salsa Revelate frame bag and all that business. So he'll be styling for the rest of the ride and hopefully he'll be able to catch back up and I can ride with him to the border. But hopefully going to the base of sergeants today and I don't know, maybe going up over the top, we'll see what time I get there. Yesterday was day 18 and started with uh, waking up to a herd of cattle yelling and screaming at each other and eating all the grass right by my tent. So I woke up, headed over the first pass, first of three yesterday, ended up in Lagarita. Came to the store, it was closed. They opened up for me and made me a hot sandwich and some chips and a chocolate of milk and had a nice bed on the on the grass right outside and got to charge everything up. I had a just had a nice morning breakfast and now headed up to try to catch a few people that are out in front of me. Albuquerque finally caught up to homie Andy here <laughs> the from Alpha and Moots and Roll Off and all that business and that was hard to catch him so I'm gonna eat now. Hey Nick, how's your cruise going up to uh, Cuba? Oh, it's a, just an easy, simple 80 mile day. It's awesome. It's a pleasure cruise, right? Yeah, just a, you know, a little bit of overheating and sweating and uh, a little bit of pelting by hail. Cool. It's cool, you know. Ran out of water day. by lunch almost. Yeah, you know. And now uh, pelted by hail. It's a beautiful day. <coughs> day 21. Day 21 started hot and dripping more sweat than I ever have and now we're sitting here just trying to wait out this hail that's helping everything. We just had a nice downhill into this area and that uh, little little bee stings everywhere. So wait here for a few minutes and hopefully there's a, a stream flowing down the hill somewhere and we can get some more water.
It's day 22 on the uh, on July 4th, and so we had a, a pack of stray dogs chase us around. Almost, almost got Andy. They almost ate him. Uh, I provoked him, I guess, by riding by, and I dove through the fence, and he was right behind me. Uh, there were a lot of stray horses that were just. Well, as you can see by all the, the crumbs in my beard, I'm enjoying a piece of pie here in Pie Town. This one's homemade because all the cafes are closed by a lovely lady named Nita. And now we're uh, going to have some pizza. And Andy got his coffee in the morning and maybe wait for some friends to, to catch back up and then roll on through. All fed up and <clears throat> got plenty of water now and hopefully make it to Silver City tonight or at least close. Day 23, the second to last day, been full of unexpected surprises. Um, woke up to a pretty cool rainbow, uh, the sunrise rainbow, and then saw a bunch of elk going through the fields. Thought it was horses at first, and then got a little closer, and a bunch of elk. Pretty cool, big old racks on them. And, and it was hot and dry, which that was expected. Uh, ran into the, the trail angel. Nita, that was that was a blessing to have pizza and applesauce and pie and all that good stuff. And now we've been riding in and out of the weather for most of the most of the day. Uh, not too much in it, just kind of around it. But the last little bit has been pretty uh, pretty wet. Actually, literally spun out in the mud pedaling along and then got a little wishy-washy and just turned and did a full 180 while still pedaling and Andy did about the same thing now we're just kind of putzing along and trying to get to the next spot to refill on some water and I don't know do 180 maybe 200 miles today <laughs> goodbye day 23 in the Gila with Nick Started out 25 miles north of Pie Town and in a day, as Nick said, of the unexpected. Uh, the bike will now not roll. About 10 miles from the Beaverhead Work Center. Uh, get covered in mud from head to toe. Started out with uh, a little bit of rain this morning. A rainbow, full rainbow and saw three elk in southern New Mexico. <laughs> we have a bike skid going on here now. It's like a tractor pull. See how far you can go. Uh, we got to Pie Town, everything was closed, but Nita at the toaster house took care of us. Frozen pizza, coffee, applesauce, 
Uh, oh, and pie, banana cream pie. So it's been a, it was a good day until about, well, until we crossed the last Continental Divide crossing and then the road turned to crap and it's just muddy, mucky mess. Day 23 yesterday after the the fun mud section, it all got all caked up and got to where we couldn't even roll our bikes and we're just skidding them along. Had to clean them off for 10 minutes and then roll for two and clean them off. Back and forth for a little while, killed a whole bunch of time doing that. But I ended up with 184 miles and 23 hours of riding, so that's pretty neat. And today is now miles from the end or so. Had some pretty good thunderstorms when we got onto the road, on the dirt road here that slowed us down for a while. Then we're cruising at 25-30 for quite a bit also. And I just successfully took my jacket and rain pants off without having to stop or get off the bike. That's always fun.